Hey, what is up, Smashers? Guess what? We're hanging out, getting all kinds of stuff done. And, you know, we got mad workouts going on in the background. I just realized, I looked at myself, I got America, America. It's like I'm all proud of my country or something. Go figure, because it's awesome. So listen, we're gonna be talking about neck pain. I got a message from a buddy of mine, Chris. He was talking to me about uh, cervicogenic neck pain. Doesn't really matter what you call it, but he's spot on. A lot of times what happens is the muscles in the neck, specifically uh, levator scapula, it starts to tie in and really, really drag that neck into a really funky position and keep you from rotating your neck normally. It also winds up cranking your neck down into this really, really crummy position. Now let's add to it this. We sit in front of a desk and our head cranks forward and we have this 12 pound ball on the end of our neck and what happens is it starts to really cause all these muscles to work about 10 times harder than they need to. So we need to unload all that tissue. So to give you an example, that levator scap comes off of the scapula and then it comes all the way up and tags those top four vertebra. So not only is it working on keeping that scapula elevated or working on the mechanics of the scapula, but it's also working on the mechanics of the neck. So if we undo all that, your neck is gonna have nothing but problems. When we get up into here, we have something called the suboccipital triangle, push down on that suboccipital nerve, all kinds of gnarly stuff, migraines, super bad headaches, shoulder pain. You know what we're just gonna do? We're gonna clear it out, but here's the issue. If we just clear out the neck and that scapula stays glued to that rib cage, what ends up happening is that neck pain comes back right away, the headaches come back right away. So we need to free up the scapula because if the scapula moves right, the neck moves right because all the muscles that attach, well, I should say all, let me backtrack. A lot of the muscles that attach to that scapula also run up and attach to that neck and to the base of that skull. So the trap's another one. So we're gonna unload that scap at the same time from as, uh, as we unload that neck and all of a sudden, your neck pain goes away, your headaches go away, it's just that easy. Listen, I feel like I should be go hunting right now. This is a tractor supply hat. It's a pretty wicked hat, I dig it. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just free up that scapula and it's really easy. So we're gonna pull the shoulder into what's called full extension. So we're gonna hit the, uh, the serratus anterior primarily and then also recover a lot of that extension that that shoulder's missing because a lot of times people don't have this movement. What happens is they have this movement but their shoulder dumps forward. So as the shoulder dumps forward, you lose the mechanics of the scapula. So check out this nightmare. This is awesome. So we grab a band our elbow in through the band and then take a knee okay as we take a knee so the band is pulling the elbow okay it's loaded up right here we're gonna reach right behind us and we're gonna grab that so I'm reaching behind me and I'm grabbing the wrist and I'm letting it so if you look I'm pulling the wrist real tight across my body and then I'm letting that band do the work and I'm coming up real tall and the band is dragging you can see right here the band is dragging my arm all the way up in the full extension and I'm really really tall letting it just and you're gonna feel that all under here, into that lat. You're gonna feel that serratus really opening up, so reach back, grab that, let it peel that open. That's number one. How long do we hang out? Two minutes. Everybody in here just thought it, even though they didn't say it. That's number one. Number two is, we're gonna take this band here. So this is a black band, it's a little tough to see, but we're gonna use this to stretch out that later. So we just take this, and this is super, super chill. So what we wanna do is we wanna take this across the body. So we're banding up, the band is on this wrist, it's across the body, so the band, I'm gonna do this on my knee, you can do this standing. The band is dragging down and across, so it's pulling this shoulder down and back. And then we're just gonna take our head, pull all the way down. This is uncomfortable. So we're not pulling to the side because it jams the facets in the cervical spine. We're looking off about 30 degrees, and then just, oh, that's just a nightmare. How long do we hang out? Two. That's awful. All right, that's number two. And number three, we're gonna counteract that rotation problem and we're gonna fix the way the shoulder mechanics work just by doing this. So same thing, we're gonna use that same band. So the band is at the bottom of the rig, so use this band. We're gonna wind up, you know, I'll use the arm that's closer. So the band, we're gonna get basically a child's pose. The band is gonna be cranking the shoulder all the way forward. I'm gonna take the hat off. So we're cranking the shoulder all the way forward, and then we're gonna take our head and we're gonna turn it. So I'll show you from this side too. So the band is distracting the shoulder. This hand's here. So I've got this really loaded, putting a lot of load in the, uh, in the shoulder joint distraction, so I'm peeling away the lats, opening up that scapula, and then I'm gonna turn my head. So I'm gonna just let this hang out for how long? Two minutes. Big portion of this, or big, big part of this is turning the head. This is a nightmare, by the way and hang out like this for how long? Two minutes, and then just call it a day. That is how you fix your neck. That's how you free up that scapula. That's how you get your shoulders working. 
That's all you gotta do, it's just that easy. Hey listen, I'm Trev, Smashworks. I'll check you guys out tomorrow. Have an awesome day.